In other news, a South Hill man is trying to restore his name and reputation after being accused of murder. Joey Riley was arrested in January of 2020. Detectives believe that he beat a man to death outside of a Spokane Valley bar. It turns out he wasn't anywhere near the crime scene. He talked to Krem 2's Kyle Simchuk about how challenging the last couple of years have been for him and his family. Kyle? Well, Riley says not only did his reputation suffer, he's lost customers at his Spokane Valley tattoo shop. The arrest traumatized his wife and kids. Now Riley is suing the sheriff's office and county prosecutor. Ask Joey Riley what his life has been like the last two years, and he'll tell you. Uh, all over the place. It's up and down. It's emotional. I get support from different people, and I get hate from others. Spokane County Sheriff's detectives knocked on his door in January 2020. What the heck is going on? You know, what's happening right now? Can I help you guys? Riley could have never anticipated what happened next. They're like, turn around, put your hands behind your back, you're under arrest. Days earlier, a fight broke out in the parking lot at Ichabod's East in Spokane Valley. A 40-year-old father, Daniel Jarman, died at the hospital. A few women drinking at the bar told Detective Mark Melville the suspect introduced himself as Joe Riley earlier that night. They said, why are the girls swearing that it's a trillion percent you? And I said, what girls? Riley says he's never met those women or the man who used his identity. They withheld a video of inside the bar showing I was never there. The bartender at, that works at Ichabod's um, knows who I am and even went to the police and told them he was not there that night. I think that Detective Melville uh, jumped the gun, made bad choices, um, and it wasn't a stupid mistake. He got a name and he's like, I'm going for it. Riley spent two weeks in jail and had limited contact with his family. But imagine what it feels like knowing that you're completely innocent and you and nobody's listening. Nobody's even looking into it. Charges were eventually dropped in 2020, but the damage was already done. Riley racked up debt defending himself, posting bail and hiring a private investigator. I had to sell all of my kids Christmas presents. Um, our four wheelers or our, our boats. The damage to his name and reputation was even more devastating. I have walked into a grocery store many, many, many times and uh, people pointed me out and started questioning me and drilling me and humiliating me. I had to change my children's mind about police officers and let them know that, hey, daddy has police officers that are friends. There are good police officers out there. As Riley tries to rebuild his life, he knows he's not the only one in pain. And there's two victims involved in this. The person that lost his life and his children and, and the things he had going on, and I almost completely lost mine. No one has been convicted of Daniel Jarman's murder. However, detectives later focused on another suspect. He was at the bar and his DNA was found in the victim's car right before the beating. Spokane County prosecutor declined to charge the man, saying they couldn't prove whether he acted in self-defense. Finally, we did reach out to the sheriff's office. A spokesperson declined to comment, citing the ongoing civil suit. Mark.